Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> What's up guys, it's Pagers Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we're going to be adding the fictional 210 overall Leon Sandcastle quarterback card to our team. So every single season since the S4 field pass in Arctic Blitz, where we had Charles Tillman, I've been consecutively going for at least one Marvel every single season, and S7, I'm going to keep that going. Now we did just learn yesterday, as you guys saw in that video, that Marvels are going to stop after our next field pass, so S8. The one following this one will be our very last field pass where we have marvels that we're most likely going to transition into our true end game card. So these marvels are most likely in S8 going to lose a lot of their value, right? Because right after those marvels drop and you put in like six or seven iconics for them, you're going to have these brand new end game cards that are automatically going to put these marvels out as the best ones in the game. There has been a lot of talk in the past month about the worth of marvels. Are marvels worth it anymore? Because EA added so much overall from S6 to S7. If you think about it, the X Factor's foil players, 173 overall at the end of S6, our very last promo of S6, those foils were 173 overall. And as soon as S7 dropped, we saw these guys, the S7 fuel pass guys, were a base of 173. And then on top of that, instead of the foils only adding like eight or nine overall, you actually add plus 14 overall from a base to a foil. So a lot of people have said, well, hey, marbles are probably not a good idea right now because the overalls are progressing so quickly. And as we saw, 187 overall foils, if you think back to the S6 Marvel Gronk and the S6 Lawrence Taylor, those were 189, right? So essentially these 187 overall foils for this month are only two overall off of the marbles from the previous month nonetheless today guys i am going to be getting leon sandcastle enough talk let's hop right into it so let's go on over to the trade and check out which six iconics i put into the trade so i had a mix of team of the year a mix of combine i essentially used combine to build two random iconics strictly for a marvel so that way i had a good head start I have a few Team of the Year players in there, as you guys see, some randoms I got. The CD Lamb and the Tristan Wirfs don't really make my team. And Robert Hunt was extra from S7. The stats for Leon Sandcastle overall pretty good. Defense, you know, weird choice defense doesn't work as well in the game this year. But still, here we go. 210 overall Marvel Leon Sandcastle. We are going to level him up. He's going to be a pretty good overall. 3, 2, 1, boom. 210 overall Leon Sandcastle, the best corner in the game. As of right now, of course, we'll see how high the overalls get in S8. But let's go ahead and add him to the team. He is going to replace the Ronnie Lot right here, which actually replaced my iconic Sean Taylor. So right now, Leon Sandcastle at CB1. We're going to put our other Marvel corner, Charles Tillman, at CB2. And now level up this Leon Sandcastle from 231 overall plus 20.3 overall level 8. He's now going to be a 252 overall cornerback. That is absolutely insane. 266 speed and all those incredible stats right there for Leon Sandcastle. Now the big question is, am I going to go for the last and final Marvel player in S8? Before we get those endgame cards starting in S9, we'll see how that all goes. We'll see what the overalls go to. If these 210 overall Marvels only go up a little bit, say to like, I don't know, 220 overall, my guess is the other cards are going to catch up a lot quicker and we get those brand new endgame cards, it's going to make it a lot worse when you put all those players in for a marvel, then you're stuck with this one player who's already been caught up to by all the masters. Now my choice this month was easy because I already had those two combine players, I wasn't really going to upgrade any of them on my team with the combine promo, of course, those overalls were lower than team of the year anyways, and I had a couple of team of the year players that would have just been foils, like the John Madden, right, or a punter, those were easy choices. Put those straight into Leon Sandcastle. Get a good Marvel player since I was already basically halfway with cards I couldn't use on my team. I went ahead and got the last three. Built all six and boom, here we have a Marvel Leon Sandcastle. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video claiming the Marvel Leon Sandcastle 252 overall. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.